Welcome to another baking demo brought to you by Gavinos and the Baker's Field. So my name is Chef Clyden and for today, ang gagawin natin is one of my favorite cake. This is my mocha buttercream cake. And for today, gagawa tayo ng konting twist by adding caramel. At ituturo ko sa inyo ang pinaka-easiest buttercream method using Baker's Field Whip It Buttercream. Okay guys, so yung chocolate cake recipe natin today, ang tawag ko dito is a moist chocolate cake. At sobrang dali nito because this is only two steps. It's only dry ingredients and liquid, okay? Using our mixer, mag-start muna tayo sa ating dry ingredients. Number one, we have our all-purpose flour. Okay, next we have our granulated sugar. Okay, next we have our baker's filled cocoa powder. So this is premium cocoa powder and this is alkalized. So, alkalized cocoa powder, ang maganda dito is that kapag binake mo, mas lumalabas ang flavor. Next, we have our leaveners. We have our baking soda and baking powder. And then, we have our salt. Okay? So, once all of your dry ingredient is in your bowl, pwede kayong gumamit ng regular mixer, pwede kayong gumamit ng regular bowl, we are going to fold your dry ingredient. Okay? So, let's fold your dry ingredients. So, take note lang guys that all of my dry ingredients are already sifted. Okay, next, make a well in the center. So, parang gumagawa lang tayo ng pancake. You make a well or space in the center. And then, we will introduce our liquid ingredients. Okay? Okay, so for our first liquid, hahaluin muna natin ng ating fresh milk and vinegar. So, ang nagagawa dito sa chocolate cake is that it adds moisture. So, para tayong gumagawa ng sour milk. Okay, next, let's put your liquid in the center of your dry. Okay, next, we have our oil. So, for the oil, pwede tayong gumamit ng vegetable, canola, or corn oil. Next, we have our Baker's Filled Vanilla Flavoring. So, this is my favorite vanilla flavoring, guys, kasi very pure, uh, pure yung taste. And we have our eggs. Okay, so kung wala tayong mixer, you just use your war whisk pang halo. Kung meron tayong mixer, ang gagawin natin is that we are going to place it in your mixer. Okay, um, we, will, we will be using our whisk. Pwede rin kayo gumamit ng paddle but yung whisk naman natin, hindi naman tayo nag incorporate ng air into the mixer because we are going to mix it slowly. Okay? So this is the lowest speed. This is speed 1 or 2. Just mix it until all of your ingredients are fully incorporated. Okay, so what got me into baking? Actually, kasi medyo nakakatawa yung kwento. Kasi ganito yan, um, apat kami magkakapatid, ako yung panganay. So, pipili lang kami ng trabaho sa bahay. It's either cooking, okay, taga-hugas, taga-linis ng bahay, or taga-alaga. So, ang pinili ko is taga-luto. Okay, so, from then on, I started baking pancake. Uh, actually, cooking pancakes, hindi pa baking ang pancakes. So, I started cooking pancakes and eventually, uh, my first cake is 7 years old. I started baking a chocolate cake at 7 or 8 years old. Ang gamit ko pa noon is turbo broiler. So technically, hindi talaga siya baking. Okay, so actually guys, after that, I enrolled in CSB for uh, culinary and baking. I actually studied culinary more than baking. And then afterwards, I was assigned in our school sa pantry area and pastry area. So I was the head for uh, 3 months. Then after that, I started doing competitions. Uh, Na-meet ko si Bakersfield because I won the first chocolate and ice cream show 2011 or 2012. Uh, I was competing with Hotel Chefs. I was the champion that time and one of my award is to study in Malaysia with the team of Actron, which is the company of Bakersfield. Okay, so this is good. This is the texture of the cake that we need. Okay, next we're going to start panning. So guys, we have three pieces, eight inches pan. So no need to put shortening or oil in your pan. Actually, 
I personally don't like putting shortening or oil because it shrinks the cake. Okay, so you just need parchment in the bottom. Okay, next we are going to divide our moist chocolate cake into three pans because I want to put more filling inside. So since three layers, sha, I can put two fillings in between the cake. Okay, let's pour your batter. Okay, divide this into three. Okay, pan one. Okay, next, let's go to pan number two. So, for my go-to dessert, dalawa talaga yan. Okay, number one, I really like San Serval. Kasi yun talaga yung parang requested cake ko every birthday. And my second go-to cake is chocolate cake. Actually, if I go to a new cafe, uh, talagang chocolate cake yung tinitikman ko to judge whether the cafe or the pastry chef is good. Kasi chocolate cake magbilis pasarapin. So kung hindi mo mapasarap ang chocolate cake, parang question mark sa akin yan. Uh, since the batter is a little runny, no need for us to top, uh, tap the batter or tap the pan. Direct place na tayo sa oven. But if you want to tap, you just tap it twice. So this is good. Let's place this one in the oven now. Okay, so for the baking time, bake this one for 35 to 40 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's check the doneness of your cake. So you can use a toothpick method or you can do the bounce technique. So for the bounce technique, bounce the center of your cake and side. Kapag nag bounce na siya, all good na yun. Okay guys, so while we are cooling down our cake, we are going to start with our buttercream. So ito na yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina guys na ito yung pinakamadaling buttercream. This is only two ingredients with three steps. So this is our Baker's Filled Whippet Buttercream. So I know you guys are very familiar with Whippet. This is just the same but with buttercream flavors. So basically guys, lahat ng ginagamitan nyo ng buttercream, pwede nyo ipalit ang ating Baker's Filled Whippet Buttercream like toppings of the Ensaymada for Sans Rival, for Sylvanas, or even for decorating. Okay, so we're going to transfer this one in the bowl. Not to mention, this is Halal Certified and FDA Compliant. Okay, place it into the mixer. Okay. Cream or soften our Whippet Buttercream. Okay, so this is already good. So step number one, kailangan mo lang talaga siya isoften. Next, step number two, we just add water. So very important, dapat malamig yung water para stabilize agad yung ating mixture. Okay, let's add your water. Okay, so sa ating whippet buttercream, uh, you can use it for different things. Uh, you can use it for flower piping, you can use it for frosting. So doon sa packaging, naka-mention kung gaano kadaming water yung kailangan natin ilagay if ever you need it for softer or more stiffer approach, okay? So step number three, we are going to whip, okay? So remember, cream, add water, and then whip. Three steps. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so after three to five minutes, we have a perfect buttercream, okay? So syempre guys, ipapakita namin sa inyo yung stability ng aming um, whip it buttercream. Okay, look at this one, guys. So, look at the consistency. Perfect. Sobrang stable. Kung gano ka stable si Whip It, ganun ka stable si Whip It Buttercream. Okay, so to make it mocha buttercream, we are going to add 2 to 3 teaspoon of our mocha flavored. Okay? Okay, so we are going to make our cake build up or pagpapatungin na natin ang ating cake. So we have our moist solid cake and for the filling, ang gagamitin natin is our Baker's Filled Caramel Fudge It. So Baker's Filled Caramel Fudge It, this is a ready-made filling. So meron kaming yema, chocolate, uh, but since this is a caramel mocha cake, the filling and the decoration will be made from our Baker's Filled Fudge It Caramel, okay? So ito guys, ready to use. Since I'm going to use this for filling, direct piping na lang tayo sa cake. Okay. Okay. Spread your fudget caramel. Next, let's go to our layer number two. So guys, tignan nyo kung gano ka moist yung ating chocolate cake. Okay. Next. Okay. So my regular day as a baker, okay. So usually guys, weekends ko yung pinaka-busy. I do classes Saturday and Sunday in my baking school, Dessert Draft. 
Uh, weekdays, uh, I do off Monday and Tuesday, but pagagising ko, uh, breakfast, coffee, gym agad. Kasi gym is my stress reliever. Para gising na gising ako buong araw. After that, um, I do baking. After that, I market the business. Ang pinaka-busy ko is 6 to 9 p.m. because I create all of my social media uh, posters, my class posters, and my recipes I formulated during night. Let's continue. Next, let's go to our layer number 3. Sa layer number 3, guys, pabaliktad dapat ang ating cake. Okay? Press it a little bit. Okay. So, dito talaga makikita nyo kung gano'ng kamoist yung ating chocolate cake. Okay, so we're going to do a crumb coat and a final coat. So, yung crumb coat, the purpose of that is para mas seal yung crumbs ng cake. So, during the decorating, I just want you to observe yung stability and consistency ng ating whippet buttercream. Okay, let's start. Okay, so different chefs merong different technique in terms of decorating. I like starting from the top. Okay, so spread your buttercream. Now, after you've filled in your top part of the cake, let's go to the side. Just make sure that yung spatula natin hanggang ilalim ng cake board para mas spread natin na mabuti ang ating buttercream. Okay? Spread the excess. Okay, coat. Spread the excess. And then coat. If you notice, very thin pa yung layer ng buttercream natin because the only purpose of the crumb coat is to seal the crumbs of the cake. Later pa tayo magpapaganda at magpapakapal ng ating uh, buttercream. Okay? Next, steady spatula. Okay, rotate. Next, sa side naman, steady spatula also. And then rotate. Okay. So, this is perfect for crumb coat. Uh, let's chill this one for 15 to 30 minutes before applying our second coat. Okay, so after chilling, let's do your second coat. So, this time, ang target naman natin is to completely seal your first coat. So, dapat wala na tayong makikita any trees of cake after our second coat. Okay. So, start from top again. Spread your icing. Next. Side naman tayo. Same concept, guys. Okay, check this one. So, ganito kakapal yung second coat natin. Okay, so look at this one. This is your first coat and this is your second coat. Dapat, after second coat, ganito nakakapal ang ating end frosting. Okay, let's continue. So, I've been teaching for uh, 10 to 12 years na. Ang lagi ko sinasabi is, yes, baking is a hobby, but if you're going to turn it into a business, mas maganda talaga that you know how the business works. And number one is to start costing the product, okay? So, when you make cakes, syempre, ibebenta natin yan, make sure that you properly cost your cake. Magkano ba yung ingredients na ginamit natin? Ano ba yung mga utility costs acquired in the cake? And you have to add it all in your cake. Okay? So remember, pag mag business na tayo, costing is one of the most important. Okay? So, ang dami nagtatanong sa amin, Chef, what type of buttercream is our Whippet buttercream? So, if you know Swiss or Italian buttercream, yun talaga yung pinaka-close flavor and consistency. However, yung sa amin, sobrang stable. Because you know that, number one, Butter is very sensitive to temperature. Number two, when you make a Swiss buttercream or Italian buttercream from scratch, ang bilis talaga niya matunaw. That's why we came up with an answer para sa mga problema ng mga Pinoy. Okay, so ito na po. Ito na yung ating buttercream whip it. Okay, next. Let's go to the side decor. So this is what we call a pastry comb. Uh, different pastry comb, iba-iba yung decoration. So we're going to... Um, apply it to the side of the cake to create that line. Okay, so after decorating the side of the cake, let's go on top. So, sa top decor natin, very easy kasi ganito lang yan, guys. Parang half circle motion on top. Okay? So, just a reminder, guys, yung buttercream namin is super bilis gawin. If you remember, two ingredients. This is only our whippet buttercream and water. And 
three easy steps, guys. Creaming. Okay, just add water. And then whip. And not to mention, guys, you know naman that the cost of butter now is very, very expensive. Ito talaga, mura na, stable pa, ang dali pang gawin. Okay. Now, para matest natin yung tibay ng ating buttercream, gagamitin natin to pang pipe. Okay? So, you know, even for cupcake, ang ganda pang pipe ng whipped buttercream. Very stable, ang taas. Okay? Okay, let's start piping. So, this is a star tip. Okay, random piping. Okay, look at that. Look how stable. Okay. Okay, next, since this is a caramel mocha cake, we are going to add our uh, fudget caramel. So, tingnan nyo rin yung stability ng aming fudget caramel. Ready to pipe. Okay, so remember when we started, ang sabi ko is, this is one of my favorite cake. So guys, basically, ang flavor nito is a, a mocha roll. Okay? So lahat naman tayo nakakain ng mocha roll. So our baker's filled buttercream whip it. Bagay po siya sa aming mga flavorings. Ang sample natin ngayon, which is the perfect pairing, is the mocha flavorade. But pwedeng-pwede siya sa ating mango, ube, strawberry, or even chocolate. You can even combine your buttercream whip it with our chocolate fudge sheet or our caramel fudge sheet. Okay? Siyempre, final accent, we are going to add our macarons and our chocolate. Okay, so this is our mocha caramel butter cake. So remember guys, in Gavinos, anyone can bake.